Hello, my sweet and beautiful friends. How is everyone doing today? Uh, today, my video is about my china cabinet. I was going to call it a baker's rack, but it's a china cabinet. And it took me a long time to uh, paint it white. I, it, I've had it for maybe three, four years. And I've been scared. I mean, it wasn't until I started watching you beautiful ladies in YouTube that inspire me every day to have my house beautiful and clean. And I finally did it. I know a lot of like my favorite, one of one of my favorites is Carrie Lynn. And she's the first one that inspired me a while back. But she got rid of hers. And like people are, or they're painting them black now, different colors. But I decided to go white still. And I believe it made a world of a difference. It looks so much better now in my dining room. I'm going to show you the before and after and let me know what you think. Okay. Well, this is my china cabinet. Um, this was back in uh, the beginning of January, right after New Year's. I decided to get it done. Um, it's I've had it for about three years and I really haven't done anything with it. It's just been... Um, it's just been storing a lot of things that shouldn't even be there, <laughs> especially my husband's whiskey. It, it just, they just took over. I don't know how, but they did. And it's just time to um, make it pretty. And here's a little peek at my husband's whiskey collection. He hasn't bought any more because he knows that they're not going to fit anymore in the house. So <laughs> that's it. I'm going to find a place to put everything and uh, let's just get started. Okay, the paint that I'm using is the Chalked from Rust-Oleum. And then I'm going to be using Crud Cutter for uh, the grease on the wood. I really like using this to clean my wood. It really does take off all that residue, all that grease. After I give it a good clean, I'm taking off all the handles, all the knobs. And now I am taping all the glass. Some of it I was able to take off and some of it just I just put the blue tape on it so I can start painting. Now I'm starting with the first coat of Rust-Oleum Chalked. It is in the color white. And you know, everyone is painting theirs black and beautiful green and blue. I guess white is out. <laughs> well, for me, honestly, I love white. I just love how it makes everything look spacious and it looks crisp and clean. And it just made the room look so much bigger and I really liked it white. So uh, this is why I chose this color. Maybe later on I can go ahead and paint it black. I've been very skeptical of um, painting this piece. I, my mom was so against it. She's like, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? And some people are, I mean, they seem like you're destroying a beautiful thing. But honestly, <laughs> after three years of having it this way, I've enjoyed it. This beautiful orange wood color, I guess. And now I, I really want it white. I mean, I, I really like how everyone else's looks white so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna go for it let's just do this let's get it over with it's the only thing that it's still um that doesn't match with the rest of my decor so i decided to do the top of the china cabinet first just to see how it looked and later on i did the bottom but um, for now, this is the first coat and it's covering pretty good. I think it's going to need about three coats. 
I really enjoy painting. It is pretty therapeutic for me. Um, it is something that it just relaxes me and, and I really like to do it. I realize that I, I do like painting furniture. I may not be great at it, but I think I'm learning as I go. And the more furniture that I paint, the better that I get. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy painting furniture. So I'm already on the second coat. The first one covered but not enough and the second one is starting to cover really good. I am not sure of the name of the brush that I'm using. I did buy it at Lowe's. And it is a very short brush, but I, I really I like this brush. It works very well. If I can find the name, I will put it in the description box. And okay, uh, what do you think? This is coat number two. I think I'm gonna go for three. Well, now that I'm done with the top, I'm gonna do the bottom. And I really like how it looks. I've, I've decided to keep it this color. I'm going for the whole thing. It's looking very nice. Well, here it is, coat number one on the bottom and the top is done with three coats. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the tape already for the top because I'm anxious and I can't wait to see how it looks. Oh. Taking off the blue tape is my favorite part of the whole thing. This is so satisfying. And this is how it looks at this time. I uh, left a little wood on the top and on the bottom. I was gonna keep it this way, but then my daughter, she convinced me that it would look pretty all white. So I ended up painting it all white. And she was very right. I really love the way it looks all white. It looks so much better. I still have to do the inside, but for now, this is all that I'm doing. And I am saying goodbye to the whiskey. We're gonna put it somewhere else. That way we can go ahead and decorate this china cabinet. And I ended up making some space in my coffee bar. Believe it or not, I didn't have anything in there that should have been there. I had old movies. I had all my friends' uh, TV show, my friends' seasons in there, and uh, books, things that weren't supposed to be there in the first place. And this is how it looks now. I've added that wine rack, which is perfect because this is now a coffee bar slash bar. I decided to leave the knobs and handles the color that it they were already. I'm not gonna paint those. And I'm adding some of my Ray Dunn in here because I don't have a, a plan yet what I want in here. But for now, this worked out and I am very happy with the results. I had to open it up so you can see it because the glare of the glass is not, it doesn't let you see what's inside. But let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions of what I can do with my china cabinet and how I can decorate it, please don't forget to comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I gave you some inspiration to paint your furniture as well. Have a wonderful day. And always remember to try something new every day. Bye-bye.